It is a super gloomy day today, um, unfortunately, even though it's supposed to be going out. But I'm starting a new vlog pretty much as soon as I ended my last one um, because I am going out in a little bit to um, get some gelato and maybe some pizza. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, but I actually just put on this new Summer Fridays lip balm. So this is the tinted one, and I think I may have mentioned the original one in my last vlog, I can't remember. But um, this is the tinted one and I absolutely love it. If you're looking for a very like natural looking lip tinted like lip balm, lip gloss, highly, highly recommend this one. I also love their new packaging, it is amazing. But I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today because I'm absolutely in love with my outfit. Um, so let me show you. <laughs> All right, so this is what I am wearing today, very casual, it is quite warm out. Um, but it is raining, so in fact, when I go out, I'm actually going to wear my Burberry trench over top of this. But this is the, if you watched my Nordstrom um, haul, and this is actually one of the sweaters that I got in that haul, and it's still one of my absolute favorites. So this is a frame cashmere sweater, and it's just got these beautiful sleeves. It is, they are actually long sleeves. I just like to roll them up. Um, and then I've got my, I think these are the Aritzia Effortless Shorts. Truthfully, Aritzia is always changing the name of their items, so I can't remember, but I will link the correct ones down below for you. But these are so, so easy to wear. And then, of course, I've got my new Valentino um, belt. I could not recommend this belt enough. It actually is reversible, so you've got the nude color on the other side. But I just think it looks so, so smart. I've literally been wearing this belt, both colors, with like everything, whether it's dresses, sweaters obviously an outfit like this where it's just super super simple but it's just such a small detailing i actually had a really good conversation about this with someone because someone asked me like oh like do you prefer this or the gucci belt and truth be told i feel like a lot of people have the gucci belt and i mean it's never about whether other people have it or not um but i just feel like i honestly much prefer this valentino logo it just looks so smart and yet it's kind of minimal at the same time um, and so again, I also love the fact that it's reversible. I know I've said that, but it's honestly a really good thing that it is reversible because you pretty much get two completely looks with one belt. Um, whether you're wearing white or black, you have your preference. And if you do own the Valentino Rock Stud sandals, um, which I will show you eventually, um, the nude color on this belt is pretty much the exact same color. From those shoes so anyways this is what I'm wearing today and I'll probably just wear my trench coat over top and then my tabby top handle which is just over there but this is today's outfit very very simple jewelry wise I actually am wearing my Charlotte bold hoops which I haven't worn in some time and I just I forgot how much I love these little guys because they're my favorite and then I'm also not wearing a watch right now because I do want to stop at the Hudson's Bay to get my watch resized because it's brand new and it's, it doesn't fit me yet so I want to get it resized so I can wear it and I just feel like it'll go beautifully with all of the gold accents in this outfit but yeah that's today's outfit very simple but also I feel like all these little details just kind of make the outfit anyways I'm just sitting down here because I am gonna do a little bit of editing it's super dark in here actually I have to turn on my lamp because it is super super dark outside and gross um, but essentially I'm just gonna do some editing right now um, before I have to go out and get some gelato which I'm so excited about um, I think I mentioned it. Yeah, I mentioned it in my last vlog But essentially one of my new favorite gelato spots in the city is on third thought And I'm so thankful that I actually discovered them because well the first time I ever heard of them was on blog to I follow blog to you like it's the bible but um that is the first time i had heard of on third thought the second time was when um one of the girls from coda lee um reached out to me saying that coda lee was actually collaborating with on third thought because they had made a unique gelato flavor just for coda lee so it was like a limited edition flavor and they sent me a pint of it and i just in that like the moment i tried that gelato i was just like in love with on third thought and so literally like I think the day after a friend and I actually went to get more gelato and we tried more of their gelatos and some of their flavors are actually alcohol infused so they have like mojito, pina colada, aperol spritz and so we got a couple flavors and they were just out of this world and they were in fact they were so good that I recently went to another gelato shop 
and I was just like in my head I was like this is good but it's not on third thought good you know what I mean when that happens you're like dang it like they just they just raised they raised the bar for gelato <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna get some work done and stop chatting with you because I'm clearly procrastinating at this point talking to you while I should be getting work done um, but I'm really excited to take you along and actually show you a little bit inside the shop outside It's literally the cutest little thing and um, just kind of show you their menu that way if you want to go You can go and I will also leave all their information down below clearly. I'm passionate about this gelato shop. They're also also all of their gelatos are vegan as well as allergen conscious so if you're someone who worries about dairy gluten anything kind of along those lines on third thought is going to be perfect and if you don't have to worry about any of that stuff don't be thrown off about the fact that they are vegan and allergen conscious because their stuff is truly truly amazing like my friends who are not vegan or anything along those lines love on third thought so wow this is a three minute spiel on gelato can you tell i like it <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get some work done now because Maker Pizza. I've been here before, but I haven't been here in a while. So um, that's what we're having for dinner. We're gonna get a full pizza and probably just take it home as opposed to just getting like individual slices. It's also extremely hot, so bad day to wear a uh, knitted sweater, but it's fine. doing some laundry and tidying the apartment and washing some of my silk pieces and I know that one of the things I get asked about the most is how I take care of certain items especially if they're like cashmere and silk and so I thought I would actually show you how I'm washing my silk pillowcases now I'm gonna warn you um, it is looking very gross because my pillowcases are white I did get new ones which I will be sharing with you hopefully in a future vlog and then um but anyways my previous pillowcases were white and because i self tan um they don't end up looking so pretty so i actually did switch to another color because um white and self tan it just it doesn't go together but anyways let me show you how i wash my sheet because i feel like this is actually going to be quite helpful for you guys so for starters the detergent that i use is actually these true earth strips um these were actually sent to me back last september almost a year ago they sent me two packs so they sent me their fresh linen and then their unscented and ever since then i have been repurchasing these i actually get these at chapters indigo um they have like the little home section you can actually buy them there i've seen them at some grocery stores um what they are is essentially um laundry strips so they look like this 
um, and it's just a little strip. You can actually break it in half if you have a smaller load, but these are laundry detergent strips, so they're much more eco-friendly, and honestly, for someone like me who is trying to save space in the apartment, having these where I can just tuck them in a drawer is super, super nice. They're also much more eco-friendly than having to buy a bottle of detergent um, however often you buy it. So these I have been repurchasing ever since they sent me them. Um, and I honestly couldn't recommend them enough, especially if you're a student or you're going off to university or even if you're like me and you just, you like to save space and be a little bit eco-friendly where you can be. These are such an easy switch that you can make and they last me a really long time. I just realized I had my AirPods in there. So anyways, back to washing my silk pillowcases. So for washing silk, I know there are specific detergents you can buy for silk pieces. Um, I don't have that, I would love to get that at one point, um, but as of right now, I'm actually just using these little detergent strips. So what I'll do is I will fill up my sink um, with water, cold water. I like to wash most of my higher end pieces. In fact, there is really nothing I wash with hot water. I just always do eco cold, but I will fill up my sink with cold water. I will let one of these strips dissolve in there. And then I will put my silk pieces in there and let them sit for a little bit before even touching them. So let me show you what that looks like. I never thought I'd be showing you my laundry, but these are my two white silk pillowcases. And as you can see, I've, they've been sitting in here for a while and the water is quite murky. Um, so obviously that's all my self tanner coming out and etc. So I do just like to let it sit in there and then I will go in and kind of just make sure that it's in there. And I will empty out the water and refill it with water until essentially the water comes out crystal clear. Um, but again, I'm being very gentle and only using cold water um, on my silk pieces. hung up all of my sheets you can kind of just see them on the chairs there I just hung them up and that's how I would leave them overnight if you do have the space um, you could also lay out a towel on the floor or on any surface really and then put your um, silk pieces over top and just kind of like lay flat to dry that's another great option but for me myself and for tonight um, I just hung them up on the chair and just let them dry overnight and then in the morning I'll give them a good steam with my steamer that way it'll get rid of all the wrinkles and they'll look good as new but that's how I wash my silk pieces and I do that with all silk pieces it is really not recommended that you put silk pieces in the wash some of them I believe are um, it's there's it's washable silk I believe it's called washable silk and you can run it through the wash on a gentle cycle even then never put it in the dryer <laughs> always make sure you dry everything but personally for myself just for just to prevent any anything getting damaged I do like to just wash it by hand and really it takes no time at all so um, that's how I wash my silk pieces hopefully in the future I can chat about um, cashmere but really it's kind of the same process just wash it by hand cold water always cold water and then hang or lay flat to dry it's really it's not that hard it's just a little bit more time consuming because you can't put it in a washer and then let the washer do it you have to do it but anyways I want to sit down and chat to you about some new jewelry which I'm so excited about and I know um, and I'm so excited about because I have been wearing these non-stop and I really haven't changed them at all since I got them So I just wanted to sit down and show you these new pieces because I know that so many of you love jewelry So let's go. All right So before I get into it, I just want to say that this is an integrated paid-for partnership with Missouri As you guys know, I love Missouri. Okay. I love 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 Jewelry and just it's so much fun to play around with but at the same time I love going after those pieces that are gonna be very timeless and classy and minimal I love my minimal pieces because I just think they're so easy to wear and you don't have to be worried about kind of changing them on and off even though let's be real I also do enjoy doing that um, but essentially if you've been watching some of my vlogs you'll know that a couple weeks back maybe even a month ago I actually went into the Missouri boutique and did some shopping just with my own money just because I, I really wanted some new pieces um, and I actually bought this beautiful baby box chain bracelet and I actually got a second one but I essentially wanted these two to go with my previous um, diamond solo bracelet and the diamond solo bracelet is actually the first bracelet that I ever got from Missouri and it's actually been on my wrist 
since the day I received it and I have not taken it off. It has lived with me for the past, I don't even know how many months, I would say like we're half a year maybe. Um, but I wanted something else to kind of go alongside my little diamond, um, but that was still gonna be a very minimal and just like almost barely there type concept. If you're like me and you love certain pieces like your bracelets to be pieces that you just never take off, I would definitely go for something that's really, really dainty and minimal like this because it's not gonna be intrusive. You can add to it, you can just leave it on, you can shower with it, you can work out with it, you can do anything with these bracelets. And so that's why these three are just my absolute favorite. Um, it's funny, I actually had someone DM me on my Instagram asking me if the diamond bracelet is the one from Missouri because it looks really big on my wrist but when they received it it was really really tiny and it is really really tiny like this diamond is very very tiny it's very very minimal it's almost barely visible but I do have quite a tiny wrist so sometimes on photos I guess it can potentially look a little bigger than it is but a lot of my jewelry pieces are dainty and I say that and I don't use that word just to use it like my pieces are very dainty and they're very very minimal but I think that's something that looks very very beautiful I actually wanted to show you the two new necklaces that I added to my collection because I think these are actually gonna speak to a lot of you and especially if some of you are going into university or you're going into school um, or you're just someone like me who loves very very dainty pieces and you're gonna absolutely love these two pieces I'll get close to the camera so you can see but the first piece is actually the baby box chain necklace like I said I fell in love with the baby box bracelet it was just so dainty it kind of sparkles and reflects a little bit differently than some of their other necklaces and so when I saw that they had the matching necklace I just I put it on and I haven't taken it off in fact it's so dainty that sometimes I can put my bigger necklaces on and just leave it on and no one knows <laughs> But the other new addition is this big diamond. So as you can see, the difference is actually quite different to my original Missouri one, which is this is just their diamond, their small solo diamond necklace. So I did actually want to spend a couple minutes talking about diamond necklaces because these are the necklaces that you will see me wearing probably 90% of the time and I get loads and loads of questions on them. So I did want to kind of clear it up. I essentially own both sizes of the Missouri necklaces. The ones that you see me wearing the most are going to be the ones with the yellow gold chain um, and again I have the small diamond and the big diamond which is the newest one that I have so the one that you've usually seen me wear if you're asking about a diamond necklace is gonna be this one up here which is a little tiny one which I just I love I've always worn tiny tiny diamonds I just think they look so special I think there's something about that barely there essence that is just really really classic and timeless um, I do also own the small diamond in the silver chain and again this is something that you'll see me wear all the time I love to mix and match my golds whether it's silver or yellow gold or white gold I have no problem mixing metals I just think it looks so so special and I know honestly at first I was the type of person that like you either wore silver or you wore yellow gold and you didn't really mix and now I just I have fallen in love with just mixing metals I think it just looks so special and so unique but again I still love to keep my pieces very very dainty so if you're looking for new necklaces perhaps you're looking for that one necklace that you're just gonna wear every single day and never take off I would without a doubt go for the diamond the size it doesn't really matter I think it's total personal preference I think whether you go for the big or the small either is gonna look beyond beautiful so those are my two new necklaces and I'm so excited because I just have not taken them off so just be aware that you'll probably be seeing these quite often and then the other two additions to my collection are actually a couple of rings so kind of keeping on with this diamond trend if you've seen my previous rings you will know that I have this beautiful white ceramic ring it is actually this middle one right here this is the white ceramic ring and I really fell in love with how the white looked on my hand and so I kind of went browsing on the Missouri website and I scoured to see if they had anything else in ceramic and I realized that they had this beautiful ceramic ring, very similar to this one, but it actually had diamonds embedded around the band. And I just thought that was so special, especially knowing that I wear a lot of diamonds, especially on my necklaces. And so I decided to go for the diamond ceramic ring and pair it with a very simple yellow gold band. 
You could also wear this completely on its own and it would look just as beautiful. So here it is just on its own. Again, it's very, very dainty. And as you can see, those little diamonds are kind of placed all around the band. But I like to add the yellow gold band onto it. Just like the look of it. And in fact, this band here is actually a wedding band. So it is intended to be um, a wedding ring, but I just loved how simple and minimal it was. So I actually paired it with that ceramic diamond band. So those were some new additions to my jewelry collection. And as always, you guys know, I love to be very thoughtful about my pieces. And the fun part about all of these pieces that I have chosen out is that, again, they go with all my other pieces. So I have been playing around with all of these and just mixing and matching. Cause I think it looks so cool to just kind of mix and match. And even just by changing a couple of them, it completely changes the look of your rings. And the last thing I want to show you, and it's actually the thing I am, I wouldn't say the most excited about, but it's something that has really changed my storage situation. And so Missouri actually does carry multiple jewelry boxes. And I had been on the hunt for one for some time and honestly when I saw these from Missouri They just looked so so beautiful because they were so minimalistic um, And just very simple. So this is the big size But Missouri does carry a little size as well as some kind of travel cases Which if you're a person who travels a lot, I would probably go for those because they are honestly Fantastic, but I went for the big one and I just love how easy it makes storing all my jewelry So as you can see, I've got some earrings over here. I've got my jewelry kind of organized into sections so I've got silver jewelry here I've got pearls I've got some of my um, these are my Charlotte bold um, earrings and then the cool thing is that it does come in trays so you actually have trays to separate different sections so this second tray here has all of my necklaces so as you can see I've got my bold pearls I've got um, the sphere collection and here's my white gold diamond necklace which I like to put on every so often if I'm mixing my metals and there is a third tray in there which I just kind of keep some cleaning cloths and extra kind of miscellaneous items. I just really wanted to show you this guy because it actually has made my storage situation so so much easier and it's so nice to just be able to kind of have my jewelry all in one space especially because again my apartment is small and so I feel like it's always better when you have a designated place for all of the items that you own and so this guy is my new best friend um, I believe it also comes in another color um, but as you can tell by the color palette in my apartment I went for this beautiful kind of nude peachy color and again I just loved how minimalistic it was I hope you guys love these as much as I do and I will leave everything linked down below in the description box for you So I'll actually individually link all of the items that I talked about in this video And then you'll also have my landing page So it'll have kind of a list of all of the jewelry pieces that I own not just these ones And so hopefully that'll make it super super easy. I will also link this um, jewelry box down in the description box as well as the little size that I also really like. So if you're looking for a jewelry box, I would highly, highly recommend that one. I just think not only does it look beautiful on your counter, but it's also obviously very functional. And of course, you guys know, but don't forget that by shopping through my link, you're actually able to receive 10% off your first order at Missouri, which is fantastic. I will leave all of the information in the description box for you guys. That way you guys can kind of have access to everything. But anyways, <laughs> right now I am going to start tidying up and get ready for a cozy evening. I honestly think I am going to just watch a movie. In fact, I might keep watching Dead to Me. I think I mentioned it. Mm, if it wasn't this vlog, it might have been last vlog. I was telling you guys that I started watching Dead to Me on Netflix. So funny. In fact, um, this is going to totally show my age. But <laughs> um, when I was growing up, I used to watch the Scooby-Doo movies. But the live action ones. And it's funny because when my friend told me about this show... They're like, oh, like you should watch Dead to Me. And I looked it up. I realized my first reaction was, oh my God, that's Velma from Scooby-Doo, like the live action ones. Do you remember? And um, yeah, I know that shows my age, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, but if you're looking for a new show, highly, highly recommend Dead to Me. I haven't finished season one, um, but I am excited to finish it and go on to season two. I think there's even a season three or four coming out now. I don't know. Um, but it's been a really, really fun show to watch. So if you're looking for a new series, highly recommend Dead to Me because it's it's really, really, really good. Um, also, on a total opposite, on a total side note, um, I've also been wearing this um, 
yellow gold nor green watch non-stop because it goes with all my Missouri jewelry perfectly and anyways I feel like we're just gonna have a bit of a catch up while I'm sitting down here because I feel like I haven't caught you guys up this summer has flown by honestly it has been a really really fun summer but also it's been a very different summer for me I think every summer I'm usually doing some sort of internship or I'm working part-time um, and this summer with content creating it kind of really changed my the way that my summer looked and so I was I constantly found myself trying to like you know live the life of a 20 year old and have fun and go out with my friends which I did but I was also you know trying to maintain my responsibilities online and it was just trying to like balance those two things out um, so it was a lot I think and it was very stressful and it was quite tough at certain points I also have to say I think there was a point during this summer and you guys probably caught on to it where I wasn't really posting much and truthfully I let all of the negativity surrounding social media get to me I mean there's no other way to say it other than that I mean it just it just was that I was one way or another afraid to to post a vlog or to post a video or to post a photo because I was so afraid of the lash back that I would get or the negative comments and I know it's always hard to say like you know like let the negative comments go but we're humans and you know feelings are hurt whether we want them to be or not and so it's always it is always hard to say like oh you know just let something go I just at this point I've learned that it's not about letting the things go it's just about you know an acknowledging that something has hurt you and then I think the important part is how to move forward from that moment you know how your reaction to those um, to those hurtful comments or situations and so it has been a summer of growth for me I would say um, and so I feel like and so I just I think I just needed a little bit of time to myself to kind of just regroup honestly even acknowledge what I was doing because it I think it took me a while to even acknowledge that I was pulling back because I was just procrastinating on editing. I would film content, but I wouldn't edit it and put it out. And so I think it even took me a while to acknowledge that I was just kind of, I was just not wanting to hear any lashback. And so, you know, I just had to acknowledge that and kind of figure out how I wanted to move forward. And I think at the end of the day, I just, I, I love what I do. I love fashion, okay? I love designers. I, I love designer items. I love fashion. I love how beautiful and powerful it can make you feel. Um, and so I just had to kind of remind myself why I was here and just to always have, you know, to be in a community of women who empower each other and lift each other up, not down. Um, and I think once I reminded myself of all that, um, you know, it, it just reminded me that I just had to be myself. and you know what sometimes people aren't gonna like that and also I'm 20 so I am gonna constantly change and evolve and I just I don't know where that's gonna lead a lot of people ask me like are you gonna be doing this forever are you gonna be shopping luxury for the rest of your life are you gonna be the answer is I don't know because I'm just at a place right now where I want to see what sparks my energy I do have those personal goals and drives that I've been that have been in my head for, for years and years and years, and those are goals that I still want to achieve, and so obviously I'll be working towards those, but I think moving forward, I just want to stay true to, to who I am, and I hope you guys will stick around because I love having you here. Um, and so, yeah, it's just been a summer of growth. It's been a summer of just being with people that I love and care about and cherish and just will love forever and ever, and it's been a wonderful summer. But now I am ready to head back to school. I am taking some very, very fascinating history courses. I don't know if I've told you guys, but history is, I study history and art history and history is just has always been a passion of mine. So I had to get my textbook because I couldn't remember the name of the class. Essentially the class is early modern England from 1485 to 17. 14. This is one of my favorite time periods. So the early modern period, um, especially in England I just I really really love it. So I'm very I have taken some courses that kind of cover some of this time period Especially like the 15th 16th century um, but I'm very excited for this course This is probably one of the courses that I am most excited for as you can tell I already picked up my textbook I was like as soon as it became available. I was like in that bookstore getting my textbook also because I had spent the last year 
um, with all online resources and I am not an online gal okay I need paper I need pens I need like I need everything to be hard copy and so having to do a full year of online school was probably the worst thing in the world <laughs> was probably one of the worst things I've ever had to do especially because I love school so much and it just made school not fun or enjoyable in any way shape or form um, also if there are any professors and teachers out there kudos to you and thank you so much for everything that you did over the online learning period because if it was hard for me I can't even imagine how hard it must have been for for you guys to do that so thank you to all of you teachers professors anyone in the educational field and because it was just really 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 hard um, anyways that's kind of the update on school and kind of what's going on in September. So as much as I'm sad for summer to go, I am very, very excited for September because I'm excited for school to be in person. I can't even tell you how excited I am. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to get into some comfy clothes and then just have a very chill evening. Before I go though, I do want to say in the next vlog, stay tuned for all you agenda planner gals because I've got some exciting stuff to share with you. Agendas, everything from agendas to inserts to planning organization. Yeah, I'm so excited because I don't think I've shared this side of me before with you guys and I just, I'm such a planner geek and I'm so excited to share this with you. So yeah, stay tuned for next vlog because it'll be that and I'll also be doing some kind of back to school content because I know um, that this is a perfect time to do all of that stuff. Well, back to school, back to work office I kind of dress my sense of style kind of meshes the two together so anyways I'm gonna stop talking I'll talk to you